When I joined ICD a few years ago, there were still people in the development sector saying, ICT, why? Is it really needed that the farmer get a computer? What is going to do with it? Give him seeds, that's better for him. But now what we see is that there was a complete switch in terms of uh, thinking. And now people are not asking why, they're asking how. And they're asking how could we implement ICT for development and the last year, the nice thing is that they are coming to ICD and ask us, please help us because you have experience and we don't. During the first year, ICD developed clear methodology to help its partners. ICD developed coaching and training program for practitioners, supported networks for knowledge sharing and for lobbying, and provided seed funds to implement pilot project. This is what we call today capacity building of partners organization. And this organization has done it from the start. During the last five years, this world has changed uh, tremendously, uh, in particular in ICTs. The takeoff of mobile telephony was really 2004, 2005. And it's really changed completely the scene in, in Africa. Another development that was also very interesting was the $100 laptop that made it possible to cut the cost for uh, laptops uh, very much. And this was very uh, interesting for our partners in the South. The UN Conference on Sustainable Development is going to take place in June 2012 in, uh, in Brazil. And um, this conference will be focusing on two themes a green economy in the context of sustainable development and poverty eradication, and the second one on institutional framework for sustainable development. ICD believes that the introduction and use of appropriate ICT solution can and does contribute to social economic development and helps to create opportunities for people to shape their own individual future and that of society around them. And because of the tremendous result that we got from our experience in the field and with high-level people in a political circle in different developing countries, we decided to come with a set of recommendations that we will hand over to the Dutch platform Rio plus Twente. What will be the future? First, we hope that this recommendation will be uh, taken on board and that we can uh, count on the support of the ministry to promote ICTs uh, for development and to be sure that it is integrated in development program. And this is uh, very important because at the moment we have fast and new changes taking place. Uh, the energy crisis, the food crisis, financial crisis, climate change. Uh, this is a lot of things happening. The development cooperation is uh, under stress um, and the IT sector is still booming. We have refocused our activities on three sectors economic development, education, health, uh, but we expanded our presence in 11 countries. More and more we are willing to close the gap between urban and rural areas in these developing countries. So we are going to do uh, many, many things, uh, using a cell phone, uh, for example, using a radio, any kind of technology that, uh, as we have done in the past, and making sure that we combine them in a creative and innovative way because it's uh, what uh, experience has shown us that is working. We need to be aware of our roots and of our values as an organization. We stand for doing the right things in ICT for development and for being incredibly good at what we do and nurturing our partners in this process. And from this stand, we will continue applying the guiding principle that made us successful for 15 years. And we will do so because they're still valid and even more than 15 years ago. It is about demand responsiveness and local ownership. It is about capacity development and learning by doing. It is about partnership and multi-stakeholder involvement. And it is also about gender equity. We have initiated the process to explore the future of the development cooperation and the role of ICT over the next 10 years. 
a growing number of partners from organic small order farmers in Peru to a small farmers association in, in Zambia as asking us to provide them expertise, coaching, training, mentoring to support them in the transition to a greener economy. At the same time, we will continue to be a leading organization in search of new form for effective and efficient development cooperation. We will explore new business models and new innovative partnership. And I would like to, uh, to conclude with a quote from our, one of our Zambian partners who told us, uh, partnership are everywhere, every way, and every day. And given the amount of our life we spend in partnership, it is important that we make them great and to have fun. So let's have fun together to make this partnership great. And I thank you for your attention. <laughs>